hello my dear students so in the last class we have started with the chapter of solution and we have discussed many of the concepts if you have missed the concepts please go through my videos in the earlier class we were discussing regarding the most important concept regarding polarity properties so there are four polarity properties out of which i have discussed already the two polarity properties namely relative lowering of vapor pressure that is given by the symbol p naught minus p divided by p naught similarly elevation in boiling point which is represented by delta tb now the next type of polarity property which i am going to discuss is uh, depression in freezing point represented by delta tf now if you have missed any of the two concepts related to polarity properties you can go through the previous videos now as i had told already question number 28a will be related to that of your numerical problem of polarity properties so i have solved some of the numerical problems related to that of the two polarity properties so you can just go through the videos related to the problems and remaining polarity properties i will be discussing in this class now in this class i will be discussing with respect to the third type of polarity properties called as a depression in freezing point which is represented by the symbol delta tf now don't confuse here f refers to freezing point if it is p here delta tb that is elevation in boiling point now in first year you might have heard about the term or it is a basic term called as freezing point now i think freezer or refrigerator you might have come across where you can see or understand the concept that the state where the liquid state changes into solid state that state we call it as what freezing or commonly freezing point is nothing but the temperature at which a uh, liquid state changes into solid state that particular temperature we say it as what the freezing point so common observation in your day to day life is students when you keep the water in the refrigerator it turns into ice so that is your commonly undergoing freezing process so hence the temperature at which the liquid water changes into solid ice is called as what the freezing point of ice or water now i'll define what is meant by freezing point so freezing point of a substance is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the substance in liquid phase is equal to vapor pressure in the solid phase now simple other concept idu yen antu andre ee liquid matte solid eradrudu vapor pressure yavaga same irutto aa pressure ge or aa point of temperature ge navu en kartivi freezing point so you might have new day to day life lo new observe madirabodu sudden agi neer iddiddu ice aagangilla right so aa process aagbekadre one point olaga new ice kuda observe martiri neer kuda observe martiri aa temperature ge navu en kartivi the freezing point so when the vapor pressure of the liquid phase and solid phase are the same in that at temperature or pointing in that we freezing point at that right so i think you have understood with the concept or definition of freezing point now if the vapor pressure of the solution nodri vapor pressure of solution when it is equal to vapor pressure of pure solid of solvent then the solution gets freezed nodri ಯಾವಾಗ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರು ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರು ಸೇಮ್ ಇರ್ತದೋ ಅವಾಗ ಆ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಫ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರಾಲ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ರಾಲ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎ ನಾನ್ ವೊಲಟೈಲ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ then it would be equal to solid solvent at lower temperature so what happens to the freezing point it decreases nodre idu one simple udahane kodtini i'll take a volatile solvent in a one beaker a now one beaker vaga one one volatile solvent thonni you know beaker b vaga i have taken a solvent to that i have added the solute that is nothing but your solution iga ಬೀಕರ್ ಎ ಒಳಗ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಯುವ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಲಾಟಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ಬೀಕರ್ ಬಿ ಒಳಗ ಬೀಕರ್ ಎಕ್ಕಿಂತ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇರ್ತಾವ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್
in the last video i also have shared the graphical representation for the elevation in point point are graphically important other from exam point of view now this is also graphical representation for depression in freezing point this is also very important now this graph is important or it is plotted with respect to vapor pressure versus temperature so same as that of elevation in boiling point so x axis or temperature other y axis or vapor pressure other now in this graph you can see i have taken a liquid solvent now this liquid solvent freezing freezing and the temperature can be upon the other so higher temperature was the liquid is but when i am going to decrease the temperature what will happen this liquid will change into solid frozen and then solid so solid solvent again cut to be frozen solvent and cut to be not either liquid solvent other is a solid like a convert again now even liquid is the solid of a car a one the particular temperature is the other or a phase is the other yaga you can see both liquid as well as solid so that point of temperature is the temperature of your liquid solvent now strain is all for luxury they are again at the bottom there you know near the fridge or get a gas or an idea is a gun gun already here than that one state or a new high school and water me could not be a particular temperature in the TV the freezing point of the liquid solvent so e liquid na solid a cannot work out there one the temperature that is its freezing point temperature so that is represented as T not F now similarly that I have taken a solution so solution or again this is pure solvent here it is solute plus solvent so the temperature of the solution when it is undergoing freezing will be lesser when compared to that of the pure liquid solvent so this is the temperature at which the solution turns into solid one so that temperature is represented by Tf right so here Tf under a vapor pressure of solution or temperature of uh, temperature of solution and uh, here T not F is the temperature for liquid solvent now this difference between this is referred to as a depression in freezing point that is delta Tf so delta Tf is the difference between the temperature of liquid solvent minus temperature of the solution so this this graphical representation is very important students so remember this one now the decrease decrease in the freezing point is given by the formula delta tf is equal to tf minus t not f right so usually uh, tf is represented as what the temperature of solution minus temperature of pure liquid solvent now this is known as delta tf is referred to as what depression in freezing point now delta t not f so t not f is referred to as freezing point of pure solvent tf is referred to as freezing point where the non volatile solute is dissolved so this difference will give you what the depression freezing point that is delta tf now in a dilute solution depression in freezing point that is tf delta tf is direct proportional to i think it should be delta tf right so in dilute solution depression of freezing point delta tf is direct proportional to what molality of the solution it is same agi to edraga elevation in boiling point raga delta tp is direct proportional to m so illu kuda delta tf is direct proportional to m ಈಗ ನಾನು ಏನಾದರೂ ಪ್ರೊಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಟಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ತೆಗೆದ್ರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರೊಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಟಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಾಸ್ಕೋಪಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ನಾ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಮೊಲಾರಿಟಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಕೆ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು proportionality constant which depends upon the nature of the solvent not right this proportionality constant depends upon the nature of the solvent so since it depends upon the nature of solvent so it is said to be as what a colligative property not right this is known as uh, so colligative property have a definition which depends upon the nature of the solvent particles or solid particles is referred to as what colligative property so hence we can say the depression in freezing point is a colligative property now this is known as kf is known as a freezing point depression constant or morar depression constant or cryoscopic constant not a very important one don't confuse yourself with respect to kb and kf kb ant antandre with respect to what will happen that is a molar elevation constant right so mol uh, it is also called as ebulloscopic constant but here kf is referred to as what it is a freezing point depression constant or molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant the use si unit for kf or it may be with respect to kb both are same it is kelvin kg per mole so this is for one marks question one there are more sri exam or kr 
वॉट इज द एस यूनिट फॉर मोरल एलिवेशन कॉन्स्टेंट अथवा क्रायोस्कोपिक कॉन्स्टेंट अथवा एपिलोस्कोपिक कॉन्स्टेंट के सो द एस यूनिट फॉर आइदर के एफ और के बी इज कैलविन के जी पर मोर ना वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट that is we are coming with respect to the numerical problem related to that of depression in freezing point so determination of molar mass of solute so in the mele three marks question irutte either the relative lowering of vapor pressure or elevation in boiling point or freezing freezing point depression constant depression mele one numerical irutte so that is especially related to molecular mass so how to determine the molecular mass of solute using the depression in freezing point so say for example let w2 or m2 W under V2, M under molecular mass. So W2 and M2 may be masses and molar masses of the solute. So it is 2 under it may it is related to solute. So 2 under very good, or B under very good, right? And W1 is related to mass of solvent, or W A under very good. Putting this value of the molarity in the equation, so we know that the equation delta T F is equal to K F into M. So I think it should be capital M, right? Sorry, it should be uh, M uh, into M. Right, so we will multiply that. So it should be K F into M. This is the expression. That is a delta T F is equal to K F into M. So we will put the expression. No? Now we know that molarity of an solution. We have solved earlier in elevation of boiling point also. So if I substitute the values there, delta T F is equal to K F as usual. M value W two divided by M two divided by W one divided by thousand. So W two under weight of solute. M two under molecular mass of solute. W1 under the weight of solvent divided by thousand. So you can simplify Mardaga. When I simplify this, so what will happen? Delta T F is equal to K F into W2. This is denominator numerator by thousand into thousand two divided by. This will be denominator M2 into W1. Now, but actually we require what molar mass of solute. That is we require M2 value. So if I require M2, M2 can be determined by the equation that is K F into W2 into thousand divided by delta T F into W1. Now. Everything is same as that of the equation of elevation in boiling point, except K F K B will be there. Delta T F, delta T B F. Adi bitre, yaar doko same formula that is to calculate molecular mass of solute with either elevation in boiling point or depression in freezing point. Both they are same. Freezing point itna re K F form ata delta T F is marti bi. Elevation in boiling point itna re K B ata wa delta T B is marti bi. So to calculate the molecular mass of solute using the freezing point, the formula is M two is equal to K F. Into W two into thousand divided by delta T F into W one. What is K F? Cryoscopic constant. W two weight of solute. Delta T F the depression freezing point constant. That is uh, into weight of solvent. So this is an important formula related to that of your molecular mass calculation. Now, as I told, this is uh, related to our numerical problems. So we'll go on solving the numerical problems related to that of freezing point. So I think up till here. You are clear with respect to the uh, concept of the depression of freezing point constant or depression in freezing point, and uh, what are the graphical representation? What does it indicates? And also the formula, two important formula students with respect to freezing point. One do delta T F is equal to K F into M. This is one of the term which is very important one. Then the second one is to calculate molecular mass of solute. M two is equal to K F into W two into thousand divided by delta T F into W one. So using these two formula, there will be problems related to that of the depression in freezing point. Now we'll solve some of the problems related to that of uh, depression in freezing point. So we go here with respect to the solving some of the problems. So problems related to depression in freezing point. The first problem: molar depression constant of benzene is given as 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Pure benzene freezes at 278.6 Kelvin. A solution prepared by dissolving 2.2 gram of solute in 50 gram of benzene freezes at 277.5 Kelvin. Calculate molar mass of solute. Right. So first we will write the given things. Given things in your memory. Molar depression constant of benzene. Now this is for solvent. Right. So that is uh, with respect to the so, uh, solution. Uh, the molar depression constant is given as a uh, uh, Kf. That is Kf given as 5.12. Now pure benzene freezes at a temperature delta Tf, T not F is 278.6, whereas only delta Tf is a uh, uh, 277.5 Kelvin. So students, you will be confused. I will give you another example. Simple. 
the bigger one should be subtracted with the smaller values right so hence you'll get the delta tf value right so here we have to calculate given the mass of solute they are given as 2.2 grams and uh, weight of solvent they are given as 50 gram so using this we have to calculate the molecular mass of solute now we know that delta tf is equal to so here the bigger quantity is 278.6 minus 270 sorry it should be 277 so 277.5 so the difference in the delta tf value will be equal to 1.1 kelvin now we are since we have to calculate the molecular mass of solute that is m2 i have seen already given the formula so formula in a three molecular mass of solute calculate molecule thousand into kf into w2 divided by delta tf into w1 where kf is the cryoscopic constant w2 is the weight of the solute delta tf depression freezing point and w1 is weight of solvent so kf value 5.1283 weight of solute 2.283 weight of solvent they have given as 50 grams so you can substitute this value that is 1000 into kf is 5.12 w2 is 2.2 grams delta tf is simplified under the 1.1 kelvin atandu. so into weight of solvent they have given as 50 grams so when i simplify m2 will be equal to 204.8 grams per mole so this will be grams per mole so this is the molecular mass of solute so this is very simple students Last time elevation in boiling point or gain formula is not the LCMO same calculation except that KF is the KB is the KF is the delta TF TB is the delta TF is the look at the same with respect to that of elevation in boiling point this is with respect to freezing point so hope I think you understood with the first problem when you go for the second one that is the second problem related to the freezing point is the freezing point of a solution containing it should be containing 34.2 gram of sucrose whose formula is C12H22O11 in 500 cm cube of water is in 500 cm cube of water is 0 0.374 degrees Celsius find the freezing point depression constant of water so I repeat once again or solve the problem of moderate in what the freezing point of a solution containing the weight of solute is 34.2 grams of sucrose yesterday 500 cm cube of water so they are used 500 cm cube of water whose temperature they are given as what 0 0.374 degrees celsius now what you have to find in kandidivaku freezing point depression constant of water that is nothing but kf you have to find out now we'll see how to solve this one what is the difference in the problem here is they are given here is the amount of solute present in 500 cm cube but we require in 1000 cm cube or 1000 grams so how to solve this problem now you can see here we know that 34.2 grams is present so here in the problem already is given amount of solute here is 34.2 grams so 34.2 grams of sucrose is present in 500 cm cube of water now for 1000 cm cube, no, double model, 500 is 1000 model, 2 times multiply model. So 34.2 is the amount of 68.4 grams. So that is 1000 cm cube or it is also called as what? The 1000 gram of water. Now for 1000 gram of water, what is the amount of sucrose present? 68.4 grams. So therefore, molality is equal to, so number of moles of solute divided by molecular mass. So number of moles of solute is 68.4 divided by 342 in 342 3 sucrose the molecular mass c12 h22 11 calculate madri that will be equal to 342 you add on a simplify madri the answer will be how much 0.2 m so we know molality of a solution of this is 0.2 molality now we know the formula delta tf is equal to kf into m so what we require now in the here freezing point depression constant that is kf so kf is equal to delta tf divided by m now delta tf already is given that is a 0.374 degrees celsius divided by molarity how much test to 0.2 m so you can simplify madadaga the freezing point depression constant that is kf will be equal to 1.87 kelvin kg per mole so my dear students the problem will be related to either delta tf is equal to kf into m or it will be related to the molecular mass of solute so from yaad mel kiyadru so formula laga you should identify the given things, write down the given things per query so that it will be easy for you. And the answer formula would be in substitute easy 
then remaining thing which has to be calculated you can calculate easily now this is this was related to the uh, freezing point depression constant calculation now we go for the third type of uh, problem related to the freezing point uh, depression constant that is uh, it says that on dissolving 0.25 grams of non volatile solute substance in 30 ml of benzene not 30 ml of benzene and tandara the solute of quantity 0.25 gram and kotara idru aga density kotara the benzene rest of the 0.80 uh, gram it should be gram per cm cube 0.80 gram per cm cube its freezing point its freezing point decreases by 0.40 degree celsius find the molecular mass of solute whose cryoscopic constant or depression freezing point constant is 5.12 kelvin kg per mole idu si neutral idu en prakaraku now iga solpa problem idu change aitri yen change aitu antandre mass of solute kotara quantity of solute present in the solvent in quantity of the solvent is kotara 30 ml kotara ili volume kotara density kotara so you can calculate the mass by using formula we know that uh, density is equal to mass by volume so idu freezing point its freezing point ko tara temp est antandu decreases by 0.40 degree celsius so m2 calculate madbeku kf nu kota so we know that mass is equal to volume into density so density is equal to mass by volume antandre idu interchange madadaga mass is equal to volume into density agutha volume ko tara 30 ml density ko tara 0.8 so sub calculate madri the mass of benzene will be equal to 24 gram agutha now iga mass namaku sikto how to calculate molecular mass of solute so molecular mass of solute m2 is equal to formula gottati 1000 into kf into w2 divided by delta tf into w1 where kf is the depression freezing point constant w2 is the weight of solute delta tf change in temperature freezing constant uh, change in freezing point uh, temperature w1 weight of solvent so kf value gottata 5.12 antara so w2 weight of solvent already they are given as 0.25 delta tf 0.40 degree celsius antara into weight of solvent now you calculate it 24 grams so when i substitute this the molecular mass of solute will be 133.3 grams per mole so this is the problem related to that of your uh, depression in freezing constant so we have already solved three types of different type i'm not it is the first and third are the same over but second problem in etala it is a slightly different we have calculated the kf value then we go for the last problem related to that of your depression in freezing point so what is the problem calculate the mass of ascorbic acid i think you might be knowing ascorbic acid is also commonly called as vitamin c whose formula is a c6h8o6 to be dissolved in 75 grams of acetic acid so acetic acid is ch3coh to lower its melting point by 1.5 degrees celsius so kf value kota 3.9 kelvin kg per mole right so here how to solve this one we clearly question was calculate the mass of mass calculate after the acid which is given to 75 gram that is weight of solvent they are given as 75 gram and melting point they are given 1.5 degrees celsius kf value calculate so how to solve this one we will see so mass of acetic acid is equal to 75 grams that is given so ascorbic acid so m2 right that is ascorbic acid to do molecular mass kakam roku c6 so substitute madri idanna calculate madadaga molecular mass 176 grams per mole bartati now temperature the lowering of melting point the temperature there again is 1.5 so how to calculate this one so delta tb kakam roku so delta tb is equal to sorry it should be delta tf so delta tf varbek aitu so delta tb madati delta tf is equal to kf into 1000 divided by into w2 divided by m2 into w1 so delta tf so weight carefully w2 calculate bekana vili so we substitute rearrangement madri so w2 is equal to delta tf into m2 into w1 divided by 1000 into kf kv ala kf right so substitute madri vela values so that is uh, delta tf is equal to 1.5 m2 is equal to 176 w1 is equal to 75 this is whole divided by 3.9 into 1000 so when i simplify this this will be equal to 5.08 grams approximately so hence 5.08 gram of ascorbic acid is needed to be dissolved right so this is all problems related to that of your depression in freezing point so we have solved the four types of problems 
so very important one so solve a luxury so you know i already i had told in the previous course also now so now also i'm telling not quality properties or other anyone will be asked with that question number 28 a for three marks so prompts easy hour just write down the given things right so given things first new work for it so that that's not enough to give me a uh given things but on other data cell is substitute mark of the formula out and what other than so substitute money don't forget to write after calculation the si units right so this is all with respect to the concept of uh, depression in freezing point so my dear students so i think you understood the concept with the uh, depression in freezing point so if you have any doubts please go through the videos again and again so that the concepts will be clear with you you are going to videos not both new right any time so that the concept clearance are there but are you could on you know the doubts either you can just message me or text me or share your opinions right that way you too whatever you can subscribe my channel so that whenever i upload a new uh, videos you will be getting a notification right so hope you understood the concept so in the next class we will be coming with respect to the last type of quality properties that is osmotic pressure so hope we will see the thing in the next class thank you